Hey, right, you in charge here? Yeah, you got kind of unfortunately, yeah. What, what do you need, my man? Well, I'm Jim from Blue Igloo Saunders. We got sent down here to drop off this old Porta John over here. I just need to know where you want it. Uh, we called you like three weeks ago. I don't know why you showed up this late, but uh, you just put it over there under that shade tree or something. Oh, well, you sir, see, I, I can't actually drop the Porta John in the shade. It's against company policy. Okay, is there is there not somewhere else that you might want it? Oh, okay, no shade. Okay, uh, just uh, put it over there at the edge of the parking lot where we all park our trucks so it's convenient and we can get to it easy. Right, so so, so actually, sir, I do actually have some recommendations for you, okay? I am a Porter John placement specialist by trade, and uh, when I was driving in, I was scoping out that area right over there. You see that area right there with about 30 yards? Perfect circle of nothing but water. About three inches settled out there. I say we put the Porter John directly in the middle of that small pond. It, it, it's what I professionally recommend and you know maybe you can't swim maybe we shouldn't put it over there if that's not something that you'd be interested in how about we put it about i don't know 10 foot from this building just close enough to catch the reflection of the sun to heat it up faster but not close enough to be in the shade at some point during the day those are both terrible options i mean one's obviously gonna be a massive mud pit it's just gonna be a giant cluster and the other it's going to be like 140 degrees from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every single day. I mean, probably get mild heat stroke stepping into that thing. I don't think that you're understanding. Hold on now, hold on now. I, I overheard y'all's conversation. We would like to choose to put the portage on uh, about 10 foot from the building so we could really get that heat bouncing off that building, you know, really get that thing warmed up in there. We can get a good sweat going while we use it. Go ahead and drop that for us over there. I appreciate you. All right, old timey. See See, he knows, he knows about Porter John Placement. He's been around the block, okay? You can learn something, man. I'm gonna go get this thing dropped for you guys. Roscoe, what are you talking, why would you pick that, man? We're gonna catch fucking heat stroke in this thing. It's gonna be like 140 degrees in it all day, every day. <laughs> Listen, we can move it after he leaves, okay? The Porter John folks that bring these things out here, they don't give a damn about what you got to say, okay? They're gonna put it in the worst possible location they possibly can. Every single time, I just move it after he leaves. Cause you're wasting a lot of my fucking time and I really need to use that thing considering it's fresh right now. All right, fellas, I, I got that thing out there. Uh, I just wanna go ahead and let you know, I will be coming back. Uh, I'm scheduled once weekly, minimum, to come clean that sucker out. So uh, I figure I'll see you in about three months. Okay, and you know, a lot, a lot of people do complain about that, but if it gets too high mounding up and it starts to touch you, just shake it a little bit and it'll settle. All right, you boys give me a call if you need anything. I'm not gonna call you back or answer, but I'll be back in about uh, two days, four. I'm supposed to pick it up. I'll see y'all boys soon. Okay, I, I appreciate you, I guess. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do about that? I, I, I can't do shit about that, but uh, I suggest you just get real familiar with going to the gas station for break.